Hello and welcome back to Kasawa Shoujo. We are um, actually approaching this actual school <laughs> for a change. Um, Mojo is here with me, of course. Hello. And we, I think this is a perfect place to leave it off last time because we're like right at the gates, just ready to go in. Yeah. Um, think the gate was apparently pompous. Yeah, the gate looked far too pompous for what it was. This is a special school. In fact, gates are in general, gates in general seem to do that, but this one especially so. It looks very rich, I guess. And the red brick yeah. too is nice. Red bricks, black wrought iron, and gray plaster assembled into a hole that didn't feel welcoming at all. I wondered if it probably, if it looked like what a gate for a school shouldn't look like, should look like, but couldn't really decide. Probably no. Of course, I didn't want to get stuck on thinking about the gate for too long, so. <laughs> well, mission failed. <laughs> so, F. I entered th through it with a brisk pace and felt surprisingly good. Moving forward feels good. So I walked towards the main building of Yak Yamaka Academy with this brisk pace. I'm alone as my parents are taking my stuff to the dorms and there's supposed to be someone waiting for me. Who's that? Grounds are inc incredibly lush, filled with green. It doesn't feel like the kind of grounds a school would have, more like a park. With a clean walkway going past the trees past trees and the smell of fresh cut grass and all other park like things words like clean and hygienic pop into my mind it makes me shudder clean and hygienic makes you shudder yeah <sighs> I can't stand things that are clean and hygienic he's a dirty boy yeah. I shake them off stay open minded now it's your new life you have to take it as it comes that's what I tell myself. A few buildings loom behind the leafy canopies, too big and too many for just a school. Everything seems off. It's different from what I thought I knew about schools. It's an uncanny valley, even though I was told this is my new school. In the back of my mind, head, it doesn't feel like one. Mind well, that's because you're so used to a particular norm that you're just... Obviously, this is going to feel strange, different, and, you know, not what you're used to. Yeah, of course. I wonder if the feeling is real or caused by my expectations of a school for the disabled. Oh, yeah, it has expectations of a different kind of look to it. Yeah, I guess he was like, expected to be more worn down. <laughs> like ramps for people that need, you know, wheelchairs. <laughs> that that would be a good idea, yeah. I don't, I don't see any ramps here. <laughs> I was sitting here just like I've never noticed that before. I've played this game uh, a couple of times and I've never noticed that there wasn't a ramp anywhere. Not one in sight. Come on, game devs. Think a little bit. Speaking of that, I don't see anyone else here. It's kind of eerie. They all died. No, okay. Makes me wish there was somebody here. I could anchor myself to something. T so I could anchor myself to something tangible instead of having this feeling that I stepped into another dimension. The trees hum with the wind and the green hues flashing all around me catch my attention. It makes me think about hospitals again, how they say that the operating rooms are painted green because green is a calming color. I thought blue was a calming color. Yeah, I prefer blue over green too. I, I, I like green things, like I like trees, like I love pine trees, which good thing my house is freaking surrounded in them. But when it comes to painting a room, I hate green. Hmm, I don't know. I I don't feel like one way or the other too much about it. I think I'd like blue better, probably. Blue like right. the ocean, I guess, or the sky. Yeah. Kind of, kind of seems more calming to me, but green seems like. Eh. I don't know. Mm. I mean, I'm a fan of nature and all, but... Yeah. 
maybe not in my room. <laughs> <laughs> to remind me of being surrounded by trees. You don't want to go camping in your room, Gary? <laughs> no. Let's leave <laughs> camping for camping. Yeah. <laughs> so why am I feeling so anxious despite all this greenery? Why, why did they have to put dot dot dot? Somebody else appearing? Nope. <laughs> Only after I stand in front of the haughty main building, I surprise myself by realizing why the gate bothers me. And there's more. It was the last chance I had to turn back. Even if I had no life, I could return to it. No, you can't. But still, after entering, there was absolutely no way I could go back anymore. Feeling nervous and with realization set in my head, I opened the front door. Uh, Inside! I guess that's kind of like a ramp, right? Yeah, that looks like a ramp. And then there's... You just, you just have to get up the steps in the first in the <laughs> beginning or in the front of the building yeah. have somebody like drag you up them carry you yeah they should they should offer that service here is just like a big guy that carries people <laughs> just stand at the bottom of the steps right Tall man with bad posture noticed me as I enter. We're the only people in the lobby, so it's lo only logical. Wow, he he looks really scruffy. <laughs> uh, you want me to do the voice, or do you want to do the voice? I've been doing the voice so far, so why don't you do some? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you must be Ni Na Nikki. Would that be Nikki? Nakai. <laughs> Am I saying it Nik right? Nakai. Nakai? Yeah. It's, uh, character's name is Hisao Nakai. So you are. Excellent. I'm your homeroom and science teacher. My name is Mutao. Mu, like the cow? Welcome. And I believe so. <laughs> we exchange a handshake that is neither firm nor sloppy, and he looks at his watch. The head nurse asked for asked you for a brief check-in visit, but there's no time for that now. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, should I go later? Yes. Afternoon is probably fine. We should get going and introduce you to the rest of the class. They're waiting already. Waiting for me? I don't really like being the, the center of attention, but I guess it's inevitable in a situation like this. Of course, every time you're a new student somewhere... You're the center of attention. Somehow, not knowing what is waiting for me makes me feel really nervous. Thinking of this, I almost miss what the teacher is saying. Do you want to introduce yourself to the class? No. <laughs> why? I say why. Why? Do I have to? I'm going to be difficult. <laughs> of course not. That's why I asked. Right. Let's go then. By the way, that was an important decision. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. And I don't. Do I don't know if it's extremely important because I think, I, 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 it, 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 it generally sets your character line. Whether you, I believe your character acts more shy or more mm -hmm. like outgoing. I think. Okay. And I think it's easier to get a certain route depending on which answer you start with on that. But I don't well, think it should matter enough. Won't matter, like, uh, what people I meet or something like that? Yeah, I won't, it, you'll still be able to meet all the characters. I think you'll still be able to go down all the routes. I just think it'll, like, change some of the lines a little bit. Okay. Change your personality a little bit? Mm-hmm. So you're probably, I believe you're... Uh, I, I haven't played this in a while, so I, this is, I'm just going off of what I remember. I believe your character will act a little bit more shy and uh, stuff like that now. Okay. My heart is pounding in my chest, and it keeps me thinking about my condition as I follow the teacher up the stairs. Third door down the third floor corridor is marked as the classroom for class 3-3. 
Mutau opens the door and enters. Good morning, everyone. Sorry I'm late again. I hesitate for a split second at the door, freezing on the spot. Uh, get a grip. This is a big step. I know that. But there isn't any point in worrying so much about it, at least not this soon. I follow the teacher into the classroom and look around, partially so I won't have to meet the curious gazes of my new classmates. Oh, that girl's got, like, something wrong with her face, huh? And her hand, if and you notice. Yeah. I don't know if that makes her disabled, really. Uh, uh they, they made it clear that, uh, you don't actually have to be disabled to go to, uh, Yamaku Academy. Mm, yeah, that's right. You said there was a character that they weren't sure was really disabled. Mm-hmm. Although I see, I've never noticed this before. Back left corner, uh, that girl has heterochromia. Yeah. I've never noticed that before. Huh. You don't meet her later? I, no, she is not a character you can speak with. <laughs> oh, okay. In fact, there's a That's lot of cool. characters here that you won't ever meet again. Great. <laughs> I'm, glad I'm, I'm glad I'm meeting them now. <laughs> it's pretty... Spacious. The ceiling is unusually high, and there's lots of space left over around and in between desks. That guy's just got like a band-aid on. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's missing an ear, like Van Gogh. Hmm. Yeah. He cut his ear off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm disabled. Gave it to his girlfriend. An entire wall taken up by blackboards and the high, old-fashioned windows only make it seem larger. The student's desk are just standard wood desk with a shelf underneath for books and wooden chairs with metal frames. Simple and effective. There's a quite big desk, actually. Yeah. I stop walking in front of the classroom and face the other students. They all look normal, like students in the other school. But then, why would they be here? They look like they have a little bit of... Some of them. But look, this girl looks like she has elf ears. Uh, if he knows, yeah. Bandage thing on him. <laughs> the kid in the back right just looks... I don't know what to say about him. Asleep? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or he's having a heart attack, maybe. <laughs> just looks like Which he's just grabbing... you have a friend already! He's grabbing a chest, his chest and going, ah! <laughs> 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 They're probably like me and have something wrong with them, only it's just not immediately obvious. Then I notice one of the girls seems to be missing the thumb or right hand. It's a little jarring. Where's that? I think we may have passed her already. Yeah, we were talking through that. Despite the natural tendency to listen when someone's talking about you, I tune out. The teacher's speech halfway through Well, he introduces me to the class. Notice a flash of dark hair and see that someone is looking at me. A girl with a really long straight hair that is pretty eye-catching. As she sees me looking back at her, she covers her face with her hands and as if it will make her invisible. That was the girl you were talking about earlier. Um, the one that was like, there's burn, something wrong with that girl's face. Burn marks or something? Mm-hmm. There's one boy with a cane leaning against the lockers at the rear of the class. I saw that guy. Mm. It's weird seeing someone so young with a cane. Another girl seems to be making some weird hand motions. Sign language? She peers at me over the rims of her glasses. Then she goes back to whatever she's doing. I it's... think we can hmm? guess which one that is. I seem to remember her. Well, she's got, there's like another character with her that that hangs around her all the time, isn't there? Yeah. What were you saying? Uh, I was going to say, I was like, I think there's only one girl in this class with glasses. So I was just like, I think we can guess no. which one that is. Oh, was there more? Okay. The girl with the, what is it, heterochromia or whatever? Heterochromia? She had glasses? Yeah. Oh. Apparently I need better glasses. <laughs> Are you wearing your glasses? I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sad part, Gary. <laughs> She's kind of cute. So is the cheery-looking girl with the pink hair sitting next to her. That's her. That's her buddy, right? Mhm. Mm She's really hard to miss. I don't know how I didn't notice her the moment I walked in. 
Please welcome our newest classmate. Up yours, classmates. <laughs> that's that's uh, that's how I greet people. I hey there, buddy! Up yours. Middle fingers. <laughs> he claps his hands, and so does everybody else, except for one girl in the first row who has only one hand. I cringe a little, but hide it by bowing and thanks for this applause. I did not deserve. After the applause, there is a brief silence that nobody seems to want to be responsible for breaking. God, there's a lot of there's a lot of narration in this. Yeah, right. And it only only seems to happen like in little intervals, like it's beginning and then there's just like a crap ton of dialogue, and then it's just another lot of monologuing. <laughs> it happens all throughout the game. It's like yeah, it takes little breaks. It's like. There's just like a lot of like narration, and then we'll just take a huge long break with just a ton of dialogue, and then we'll take a huge break with a lot of narration again. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I like the game so far, but I, w I would like. Oh, jeez, I just realized that this girl's legs are, are uh, not her own. And she also only has one arm. Oh. Okay. Did not notice that at first. I think this girl's. I don't know, that's just like a shadow or something. Mm. Uh, teacher soon realizes that he should probably say something. He opens up with some unintelligible noise, shuts up as he loses his momentum, and then starts to introduce me. Nobody seems to be too interested. Maybe I Thanks, should have guys. said yes. <laughs> yeah. That one's sleeping, and possibly that one if he's not dying. <laughs> Maybe I should have said yes to the self-introduction thing. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter now. Can't you can't say like I should have done this. Yeah. Probably realizing he doesn't know anything about me, he just ends up saying my name wrong again, and asks me to write it on the blackboard, so everybody can say it wrong. <laughs> I do that and turn back to face the class, feeling awkward. I always, I always hated these kinds of things, like introducing yourself. I, saying in front of people, in general, in front of like a group of people, is just kind of awkward. Uh, standing in front, yeah, but it's just like introducing yourself to people and giving them like your favorite color and favorite thing to do and whatnot. Just trying to introduce you to people. You, that's just like I'll do that on my own time. I don't yeah. want to be forced to do it. Listen to the teacher as he drones on about getting along with letting my gaze sweep across the room. Everybody seems to be listening to him intently, and when he's done, they clap their hands again, which feels like a weird thing to do. The first real girl on this round... On this round? with her one hand against her other wrist that ends up in bandage stump. I didn't see that girl. You know, sir, you said that uh, it looked like this girl had elf ears. Oh, I saw the bandage, but I didn't know it was only that she didn't have a, a hand. Yeah. Makes me feel a little bad. To be fair, I'd probably feel a little bad too. <clears throat> We're going to be doing some group work today, so I thought I'd give you a chance to talk with everyone. Is that okay with you? I don't know. I have to monologue for another hour. <laughs> it's going to be okay, Gary. <laughs> yeah, it's fine with me. <laughs> That's good. You can work with Takamichi. She is the class representative. Are we actually going to work with her? We're actually going to work with her. Or are we going to do some more dialogue? We're gonna actually work with someone. <laughs> she can explain anything you might want to know, and who else would be able to do? Uh, who else would be able to do that better, right? I don't know. Class representative, I guess. How could I know? <laughs> Teacher passes out the day's assignments and announces that we he will bleh, we will be working in groups of three. Of course. It's me that I don't know how who Hakamichi is. Slow. Teacher seems to catch my helpless expression. 
slow. What do you mean? I uh, I'm not sure actually. Oh right, Hakamichi is right there. Shizun Hakamichi. Shizune maybe. Um, I think I have missed up there actually. Uh, that's that's about good for me. Next time we'll meet the bright haired pink, uh, bright pink haired bubbly girl. Yeah, we'll do that next time on Katara Shoju. Bye. Goodbye.